This man created huge metal tentacles and decided to use them to take over the world. Let's find out how to defeat this octopus man from the recap of the movie Spider-Man 2. Peter Parker is deeply in love with a girl named Mary Jane, but he can't confess to her that he is Spider-Man. He is late for work and gets reprimanded by his boss. Peter works as a delivery boy at a pizza restaurant. The boss gives him a task to deliver 11 pizzas in 7 minutes. If he fails, he gets fired. Peter rushes his scooter between cars. He nearly gets hit by a bus, but he swerves and stops by a clock. The guy sees that he has 3 minutes left. He gets off the scooter and runs to the nearby alley with pizzas in his hand. There he puts on his Spider-Man suit and resumes his trip on spider webs. Suddenly, the protagonist sees two children running into the road. He throws the pizzas on some balcony and saves the kids from under the wheels of a truck. The owner of the balcony notices these pizzas. Peter picks them up, but the man manages to get one slice out of the box. However, Spider-Man immediately takes the treat away from the thief. Peter delivers pizzas to the given address, but he is three minutes late and the customer refuses to pay for them. The guy returns to work and gets fired immediately. Soon, Peter is threatened to be fired from the newspaper, where he works as a photo reporter. He is ordered to take pictures of Spider-Man, otherwise he won't get paid. The guy hands in his boss a new photo. The boss is pleased and writes Peter a check. He wants to cash it, but it turns out that he was recently given an advance payment, so he won't get the money now. The main character hurries to the university and runs into his teacher on the way. Peter explains that he is going to his lecture, but it has already ended. The guy is warned that he will hardly get credit. In the evening, Peter visits Aunt May. There he receives congratulations on his birthday, which he has also forgotten. Mary Jane and his close friend Harry Osborne come to visit him. They have a friendly conversation on various topics. Harry mentions that his company sponsors the brilliant scientist Otto Octavius and promises to introduce them. A little later, Peter sees an envelope on the table and learns that his aunt has mortgaged her house because of financial problems. The boy takes out the garbage and notices Mary Jane. He doesn't find the courage to confess her feelings to her. The girl reveals that she has a new boyfriend and breaks Peter's heart. The protagonist returns home and meets the landlord of his rented apartment. The man demands the rental payment for his past month. Peter gives the landlord all the money he has. The next day, Harry introduces Peter to Otto Octavius. The scientist shows the main character a nuclear fusion reaction machine. They talk about science and then drink tea together with Otto's wife. At home, Peter puts on a business suit and goes to Mary Jane's performance. The guy buys her flowers, but since he is short of money, the seller gives him only three surnations. Peter goes to see his beloved and notices the police chasing a robber. His scooter gets hit, but the guy manages to jump over the car and land successfully. The gangsters damage one of the police cars, it loses control and flies straight at a passerby. People are saved by Spider-Man. He catches the car in his web and rushes after the criminals. They spot the pursuit and open fire, but the hero overtakes and disarms the gangsters, hanging them on a lamppost. Meanwhile, Mary Jane's play is in full swing. The girl notices that Peter is not in the audience. The guy arrives at the theater, but he is not allowed inside, as he is late. Peter is waiting for Mary Jane on the street. He witnesses the girl meeting her boyfriend, so he runs away to an alley, puts on a Spider-Man suit and flies around the city. At one point, the protagonist runs out of web and falls on a pipe. Realizing that the web doesn't work, Peter takes the elevator down. The frustrated guy is walking along the posters of Mary Jane, dragging the broken scooter behind his back. Otto Octavius gives a scientific presentation on his fusion power source. Peter, Harry and a whole group of interested people are present. Otto reveals his assistance to the audience. They are specifically programmed tentacles that connect to a spinal cord and turn the man into a mutant. The scientist thanks the Oscorp company for funding and wants to demonstrate how his mysterious device works. He starts up the reactor. 
many bright rays appear and merge into a glowing ball resembling a small sun. The people are delighted and clap their hands. More energy is released with each second, and soon Peter notices the instability of this reaction. The system fails and the nucleus grows, attracting the surrounding metal. People flee the facility in panic, the containment of the reactor is compromised. Harry asks Octavius to shut down the machine, but he replies that the situation is under control. A huge iron box flies at Harry, but he is saved by Spider-Man. The superhero tries to shut down the reactor, but Otto prevents him from doing so. The reaction becomes so violent that the windows of the building shatter. One of the shards cuts Otto's wife's life short. Due to the high voltage, Octavius' brain protection system fails and the tentacles become part of his body and mind. Spider-Man barely manages to destroy the infernal device. Octavius is taken to a lab to find a way to separate his body from the tentacles. The doctors decide to simply saw off the metal parts. When they start the saw, Otto comes back to his senses and uses his tentacles to defeat all the doctors. His body became incredibly strong and powerful. He gets out of the lab, throws away all the cars in his path and heads where the tentacles take him. It's a new day, the editorial of the newspaper is discussing an article about a mysterious monster which they intend to call Dr. Octopus. Peter is given a new assignment, the guy needs to take some photos of an elite banquet. Meanwhile, Otto Octavius is grieving the loss of his wife and wants to commit suicide. But the tentacles take complete control of his brain. The scientist plans to steal a lot of money, obtain tritium and repair his machine. He heads to the biggest bank in the city and breaks into the safe. Ironically, Peter also happens to be in the same bank along with his aunt. The security guards can't cope with the mutant. Luckily, Spider-Man is already rushing to their aid. A fight breaks out between the superhero and the villain. Otto grabs bags of gold and throws them at Peter. The guy, however, runs out of web again and falls to the floor. Octavius tries to destroy Spider-Man. However, he hurls a table at the villain and throws him outside. The police show up and Otto takes Aunt May hostage. He climbs the roof of a huge building and throws her down. Spider-Man not only manages to fight off Octavius, but also saves his aunt. The next day, Peter attends the banquet to fulfill his boss's assignment and take some photos. The angry and disappointed Harry is also there. Peter does his best to support his friend. Famous astronaut John Jameson is invited on stage. He appears accompanied by Mary Jane. After the banquet, Peter finds his beloved, but she no longer needs his confession. She agrees to become John's wife. The unfortunate Spider-Man is flying around the city and he runs out of web again. He's losing his powers and it's a serious problem. Peter heads to the hospital and finds out that he is perfectly healthy. Suppose all his problems are purely mental. Peter doesn't want to be Spider-Man anymore. He decides to live an ordinary life and no longer wears his superhero suit. The guy finally attends Mary Jane's play, but the girl reminds him that she is having a wedding soon, which means Peter doesn't stand a chance. A garbage man brings the Spider-Man suit to the editorial office. The man found it in a dumpster. The editor is delighted because he couldn't stand Spider-Man. Peter, together with Aunt May, visits Uncle Ben's grave. At home, the youngster confesses to his aunt that he is to blame for his death. The woman is sorrowful to hear that, but she forgives his nephew. Meanwhile, Otto Octavius is repairing his machine. Now it is even more powerful than the first one. The villain comes to Harry Osborn and forces him to provide the machine with tritium, the fuel essential for its operation. At first, Harry refuses, but after torture, he agrees to give Octavius everything he needs. However, Harry has one condition. Dr. Octopus must catch Spider-Man, who according to him is to blame for the death of his father. The guy advises Octavius to find Peter Parker since he took pictures of Spider-Man and knows where to find him. Peter learns that the crime rate in the city has increased by 75%. 
This worries him greatly. Eventually, he can't stand it and runs into a burning house to save a child. The guy does this as Peter Parker, not as Spider-Man. He succeeds in saving the baby, even though it was rather challenging. Peter checks to see if his superpowers are still available and jumps off the roof. Alas, the web still doesn't work and the guy falls to the ground. Good news though is that he managed to survive after all. Mary Jane invites Peter over for coffee and the guy lies to the girl that he doesn't love her anymore. She asks for a kiss and at that moment a car flies into the cafe. The hero rescues the girl, but Otto Octavius immediately enters the cafe. He finds Peter, takes Mary Jane hostage and demands the guy to bring him Spider-Man. The villain carries the girl away in tentacles and Peter regains his superpowers at that very moment. Spider-Man rushes to save his beloved. He finds Octavius and engages in another tough battle with him. They fight on the roof of a huge building and fall onto a New York City subway train. The fight continues on the roof of the train. Octavius hurls subway passengers at Spider-Man, but the protagonist saves them all. Then, Dr. Octopus breaks the control panel and the train is about to derail. The villain escapes and Peter tries to stop the out-of-control train by using his web. He struggles so hard that his suit rips. Luckily, Spider-Man succeeds, but it takes all of his strength. People see him without the mask and realize that he is just a regular guy. They give the protagonist his mask and promise to keep his secret. At this point, Octavius shows up again and captures Peter. Dr. Octopus delivers Spider-Man to a satisfied Harry. The guy gives the villain tritium in return. Harry wants to destroy Spider-Man, but before doing so, he takes off his mask. Realizing that this is his best friend, Harry is deeply shocked. Peter asks Harry to forget old grudges and reveal the Octavius' location. Spider-Man finds Dr. Octavius and confronts him once again. The situation is complicated by the fact that the villain has already launched his nuclear facility and a violent burst of energy is about to destroy the entire city. In addition, he needs not only to fight but also to save Mary Jane at the same time. The nuclear reactor attracts more and more metal, causing serious destruction and catastrophe. Spider-Man realizes that he can't defeat the villain. He reveals his identity to Octavius and begs him to shut down the machine to save lives. After a bit of thought, the scientist agrees. He subdues his tentacles and sacrifices himself to destroy the reactor. Mary Jane also learns Peter's secret. The guy confesses his great love for her. But they can't be together, otherwise Spider-Man's enemies will get to her. Meanwhile, Harry is visited by his father's ghost in the mirror. Norman Osborn tries to convince his son to avenge his death, but the latter refuses to fight Peter. In anger, Harry smashes the mirror and finds a secret laboratory with green goblin equipment behind it. On her wedding day, Mary Jane leaves John at the altar and runs into Peter's apartment in her wedding dress. Their kiss is interrupted by the police sirens and Mary Jane asks her beloved to go help them. After all, someone must save the world.